When an object travels faster than the speed of sound, a strong wave of pressure called a shock wave is formed. They are incredible to look at, from those caused by weapons to ones formed by natural events. It's time to take a look at 15 cool shock waves and sonic booms. Number 15. Tunnel Blasting Normally, outside, when something causes air to be pushed to one side, it simply dissipates all around. But if this happens inside a tunnel, the walls channel everything along its route. It's the reason why designers have to be careful about where tunnels are built on high-speed rail lines, because the motion of the train itself can cause a sonic boom as it's exiting, and it's an added complication for any construction work that takes place inside one too. This footage was recorded during a tunnel expansion project where explosives were being used to create a new cavity to become the starting point of a new tunnel. As you can see, the workers are detonating the charges by remote at a significant distance from the site. But the moment it happens, a huge shock wave shoots along the tunnel. After the main wave, further reflective ones race along the length of the tunnel too. And had the workers not taken shelter or been any closer to the site of the explosion, the blast would have been enough to knock them over or even injure them. Number 14. Missile Disposal There's between 8 and 10 countries in the world that possess nuclear weapons, but just like with any other technology, each individual device has a shelf life. This means that to maintain a nuclear arsenal, new ones need to be made and older ones have to be decommissioned. And one of the only ways to do this is by conducting a controlled explosion. The Trident missiles are submarine-launched ballistic missiles used by the US and the UK, and the first iteration was known as Trident 1, or the C-4. Used by Ohio-class submarines and developed by Lockheed Martin, they were three-stage solid-fuel rockets that could carry up to eight warheads each. They were retired in 2005 after being replaced by the Trident 2 design, and had to be carefully dismantled and destroyed. In a sign of just how powerful they are, this footage was recorded from the thermal disposal of a C-4's first stage rocket motor in Utah. Containing 38,000 pounds of propellant, it was more than enough to produce a huge shockwave around the main blast. Of course, if a Trident 1 missile had ever been used, this blast force wouldn't have been inflicted upon a target because the fuel would have been burned up to launch and deliver the main payload. But it's a good example of why, even if the warheads aren't armed, nuclear ordnance are extremely dangerous to store and handle. Number 13. Mount Tavurver Located near the township of Rabaul, which is on the island of New Britain in Papua New Guinea, Tavurver is technically a sub-vent of a much larger volcanic structure in the prevailing mountain range, but is classed as a volcano in its own right because of how frequent an event takes place there. It's by far the most active peak in the Rabaul caldera, and in 1994 an eruption almost entirely destroyed the nearby town. There is usually noticeable activity around the mountain before an eruption takes place, and that's why in 2014 crowds had gathered at a safe distance and were recording what was about to happen. From a boat on the other side of the bay, the powerful explosive blast of the eruption can be seen, with not only a visible shockwave rolling across the land and water, but also up into the sky. It's quite common to see things like this during the main part of an eruption. After all, volcanoes are able to release huge amounts of energy during an event that in some cases are the equivalent to hundreds if not many thousands of times the strength of the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Number 12. Atlas V Rocket Launch The Atlas V rocket was the fifth version of the Atlas Launch Vehicle Program and was a joint venture between Lockheed Martin and Boeing for use by NASA and private corporations to launch satellites into orbit. Measuring 191 feet tall, each one is made up of two main stages. The first, that's a Russian-built engine fueled by kerosene and liquid oxygen that's responsible for the majority of the initial lift, and then the second that takes the payload into space. During the first stage, the 900,000 pounds of thrust is generated over a 94-second burn, and this soon sees the rocket accelerate to faster than the speed of sound as it leaves the atmosphere. It is an incredible sight to watch, but as this video shows, a huge amount of energy is also released in all directions. At first, you see its shadow appear, as the light created by the engines is far brighter than that of our sun, and then the rocket, as it passes through the clouds at faster than the speed of sound, drags a series of cone-shaped shockwaves with it. And while they'd normally be invisible to us, on this occasion their unexpected shape and spread can even be seen disturbing the clouds. Number 11. USS Iowa 
First launched in 1942, the USS Iowa was the lead vessel of her type, the Iowa-class battleships, and was not only responsible for transporting the President to Europe during the Second World War, but would go on to take important roles in the Korean War and during the Cold War. At just over 887 feet long and 108 feet wide, she was able to travel at speeds of up to 38 miles per hour and was an unbelievably powerful warship. Equipped after a refit in 1984 with nine 16-inch guns, 12 5-inch guns, 32 Tomahawk missiles, and four Phalanx close-in weapon systems. It was the 16-inch guns that were, of course, the most destructive. Each turret required 79 people to operate and could fire projectiles weighing up to 2,700 pounds at targets up to 24 miles away. With the projectile reaching speeds of around 2,690 feet per second, it's perhaps no surprise that shock waves would be produced each time they were fired. And because they were over water, the effect was even clearer to see. In fact, the shock waves were sometimes so intense that it's believed for a long time that when these guns fired broadside, the entire ship would be pushed in the opposite direction. But this was, in truth, an optical illusion. Number 10. Waco Explosion in April of 2013, an accident took place at the West Fertilizer Company Storage and Distribution Facility in the city of West Texas, which is just to the north of Waco, and the resulting explosion would cause 15 deaths and as many as 200 serious injuries and destroy hundreds of buildings. The company was one of the largest suppliers of fertilizers in the area to local farms, but had on several occasions in the previous years been cited for the improper management of certain chemicals, particularly with the way ammonia was being stored. On the morning of the 17th, an unrelated fire broke out at the facility, but within 20 minutes of it being reported, it reached the ammonium nitrate tanks and a huge detonation was triggered. The shockwave was so powerful that people were thrown to the ground for miles around. A school was damaged and the windows of at least 75 homes were shattered. The explosion itself also created a 93-foot wide crater on the site where the fertilizer plant had once stood. And experts say that the force of the explosion was approximately the equivalent to around 10 tons of TNT. Amazingly, despite the loss of life and destruction that could have been prevented with proper procedures in place, to this day, no one has been prosecuted for what happened. Number 9. F-35 Air shows are some of the most popular spectator events around the world, where you get a chance to get much closer to various models of aircraft than would normally be possible. There's a reason, though, that so many of them take place along the coastline, because the sheer power of the vehicles on display at low altitudes would cause havoc over land. One of the highlights of any event is a flyby of an F-35, the single-seat stealth aircraft built by Lockheed Martin that's been an important part of the U.S. Air Force for more than 15 years. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney afterburning turbofan that can produce up to 43,000 pounds of thrust, the jets have a maximum speed of 1.6 times the speed of sound. Of course, it's rare for civilians to see one break the sound barrier, and even at an air show, the speeds are limited to prevent the disturbance and actual sonic boom it would cause. As it speeds past, you can see the strange shockwave momentarily form around the F-35 before it vanishes again. And rather than this being a sign that it's past the speed of sound, it's actually an effect that occurs when the jet gets very close. At these speeds, parts of the plane are under extreme pressure, and this causes moisture to condense and form a momentary vapor cloud like this. Number 8. The Mother of All Bombs The GBU-43B Massive Ordnance Air Blast, which is more commonly known as the Mother of All Bombs, is a large-yield bomb that was developed by the Air Force Research Laboratory for use by the U.S. military. It's one of the most powerful non-nuclear weapons ever created, and measuring 30 feet long and about 40 inches in diameter, the almost 15-ton device is designed to be dropped by a C-130 Hercules aircraft. To date, the MOAB has only been used in a war setting once, when one was dropped in an ISIS cave complex in the Nangahar province of Afghanistan. When it detonated, it released a blast equivalent to 11 tons of TNT, and not only did it obliterate the cave system it was targeting, but it generated a shockwave that traveled more than a mile in every direction. Use of weapons like this, despite their effectiveness, are usually avoided because of the potential for innocent casualties, and it's lucky in this instance that they were kept to an absolute minimum, and the only confirmed deaths during the strike were of ISIS fighters. The shockwave was blamed, though, for breaking thousands of windows in the surrounding region. Number 7. Proton-M Rocket Failure 
The Proton M rocket is a Russian designed heavy lift launch vehicle that's used to send satellites into orbit. Measuring 191 feet tall, it's a three stage rocket with each stage using dinitrogen tetroxide as the oxidizer and unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine as its fuel. This gives it enormous power and the ability to carry a payload of up to 25 tons into low Earth orbit, something the rockets have successfully done 101 times since first flying in 2001. But there have been some instances where they've experienced a catastrophic failure too. With vast amounts of propellant on board, a failed launch will almost inevitably cause it to act like a bomb with a spectacular explosion. This video is of a Proton M launch in July of 2013, when soon after takeoff, the booster began pitching left and right off its axis, and instead of correcting the issue, the onboard guidance computer caused a pitch over. The upper stages and payload of three satellites were stripped off because of the pressures being exerted onto them, and then the first stage began to be consumed by flames before exploding when it collided with the ground. With a fireball erupting into the air, the camera operator keeps fixed on the event, almost unaware that a shockwave has been created. Suddenly, the camera starts shaking as the wave passes by, and everyone is sent seeking cover just in case more follow. Number 6. The Chelyabinsk Meteor Debris from space is constantly falling through the Earth's atmosphere, but luckily most of it is small enough that it burns up on entry and doesn't have any effect on the ground. Occasionally, though, something larger makes contact, and these can create huge shock waves that cause substantial damage. The largest event like this to have happened in the past century took place over the Chelyabinsk Oblast region in Russia in February of 2013. Dashcam footage from various angles captured what happened when the 20-meter-long piece of space rock traveled at an estimated speed of 42,000 miles per hour into the atmosphere. It immediately began to slow down and glow brighter in the sky than the sun before exploding at a height of 18 and a half miles. It released 33 times the amount of energy as the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, and most of this was absorbed by the atmosphere and created a powerful shock wave. It was this blast that impacted the ground, caused almost 1,500 direct injuries, and damaged more than 7,200 buildings. Number 5. Mount Bromo Mount Bromo is a volcano that's part of the Tengger Mountains in East Java, Indonesia. And while it's not the highest peak in the range, it's by far the most famous because of how active it is. Often seen with steam emerging from the cone, the volcano has long been an important part of local beliefs and culture with a yearly festival dedicated to the mountain gods that culminates in throwing gifts such as food and livestock into the caldera. Even its name is based on the Javanese pronunciation of Brahma, the Hindu god of creation. And if you're there at the right time to see activity at the volcano, it soon becomes clear why. There have been a series of eruptions at Brahma in the past 20 years, and this footage is of one that took place in the spring of 2011. Volcanologists had been warning of a potentially serious eruption over the previous months because of atypical weather systems that had seen more rain than usual, which in turn causes material to build up in thicker layers within the volcano. Sure enough, with an exclusion zone already in place, the pressure started to build up and the volcano erupted. Amazingly though, the shockwaves of this eruption can be seen pulsing through the gas that's leaving the cone a few seconds before the ash cloud, and prove just how large and explosive any eruption event truly is. Number 4. FA-18 Super Hornet The FA-18 Super Hornet is a twin-engine multi-role aircraft created by McDonnell Douglas, and after their merger, built by Boeing Defense Space and Security. Used by the U.S. Navy amongst others, they've been in service since 1995 and powered by two General Electric turbofans that each produce up to 22,000 pounds of thrust. They also have a maximum speed of 1.6 times the speed of sound. It's always an exciting moment to see one of these in action at an air show, and this footage captured what happened when one flew past at the 2009 Bethpage Federal Credit Union air show at Jones Beach. With anticipation high among the crowd, the FA-18 roars past as it's approaching the speed of sound, but not quite breaking it. Rather than producing a sonic boom, it generates a huge cloud around itself as the increasing pressures on the aircraft body causes moisture to vaporize. And just the sight of that for a split second alone was enough to make the air show a worthwhile day out. Number 3. Solar Dynamics Observatory 
As technology and curiosity grows, space agencies have begun to send increasingly complicated probes into our solar system to capture images and data of things that were previously far beyond our reach. One of the most exciting of recent times was the Solar Dynamics Observatory that's a NASA program to study the Sun in unprecedented detail. The four-ton probe was designed to withstand searing temperatures to get closer to the Sun than any man-made object has ever been before. And the data it sent back in 2010 has significantly improved scientific understanding of the closest star to Earth. In many ways, the Solar Dynamics Observatory was spectacular from the start, as the footage of its launch shows. The probe was set atop an Atlas V rocket and launched in perfect weather on the 11th of February 2010. Amazingly, it was possible to see a vapor cloud forming around the payload where pressures were beginning to increase as it approached the speed of sound. And then the vibrations of the engines began to pull a cone of shock waves up and above, which can be seen rippling out through the clouds like a halo over the rocket. It's rare at a launch to witness this phenomenon as clearly as this, and it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime event if you're lucky enough to see it for yourself. Number 2. Beirut Explosion on August 4th of 2020, residents of Beirut in Lebanon and surrounding countries were stunned when an enormous explosion rocked the center of the city. The fire had begun tearing through a warehouse in the port, and unbeknownst to most people, it was approaching a stash of almost 3,000 tons of ammonium nitrate that had been confiscated from a ship six years earlier and stored in completely inadequate surroundings. People all around were filming the fire as the flames rose higher and higher, and then the moment when the chemicals detonated. The resulting event is believed to have been one of the most powerful man-made non-nuclear explosions ever, and the equivalent to 1.1 kilotons of TNT. The effects were felt far and wide, with the ground shaking in Beirut to the same level as if there was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake, and the whole of the country feeling it in the ground while the shockwave traveled across the city, smashing windows and inflicting injuries. The sound wave was heard as far away as Cyprus, which is more than 150 miles from Beirut. And in the aftermath, all that was left of the port was a huge crater. The event caused the deaths of an estimated 218 people, caused more than 7,000 injuries, and resulted in 300,000 people becoming homeless. There was more than $15 billion worth of structural damage, and still, almost two years on from the event, the city is struggling to recover. Number 1. SAR Bomb Test Of all the countries with access to nuclear weapons, it's been the US and the Soviet Union that have diverted the greatest resources into developing the technology, and ones built today are significantly stronger than those used during the Second World War. Modern ordnance aren't the most powerful nuclear weapons ever made, though, as that record is held by the Tsar Bomb, a Russian hydrogen aerial bomb that was designed in the late 1950s and tested once on October 30th of 1961. The bomb itself measured 26 feet long and just under 7 feet wide and weighed around 30 tons. It was so big that it was dropped by parachute from a Tu-95V aircraft that had to have its bomb bay doors and parts of the fuselage removed to accommodate the weapon. It detonated at a height of 13,000 feet, and while it was meant to be a secret test, the power it released was detectable all over the world. The shockwave itself traveled around the globe three times, and it also generated a seismic wave that also traveled around the world three times. The pulse shattered glass and windows more than 480 miles from the blast site, and the sound wave traveled a similar distance too. Despite managing to fly 71 miles away by the time the bomb detonated, the shockwave also caught up with the aircraft that had dropped it and caused it to plummet almost two-thirds of a mile in the air before it was able to recover, in what remains by far the most powerful man-made event in history. Frighteningly, this wasn't even the full power of the bomb that had elements removed to reduce the radioactive fallout, and it's fortunate that this SAR bomb was the only one the Soviets had the resources to actually fully build. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular Top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.